In this video, let's talk about a new feature in Miko. And this new feature is called the error pattern feature. So it is an argument to send config set where you can specify an error pattern that you're looking for in the output. And if NetMiko detects this error pattern, and this is a regular expression pattern, if it detects this error pattern in your output, then it immediately stops sending configuration commands. So send config set takes a list of configuration commands using this config commands argument. It sends them one after the other. What error pattern will do is if it ever sees the error pattern in the output, it'll immediately stop sending these configuration commands and won't go beyond that point. And then it'll raise an exception. Now let's look at some example code of this. So we go here. First of all, let me show you just an error situation. So here we're connecting to the Cisco 5 device, which is just a Cisco IOS XE router. We're going to send some configuration commands. You can see that this third command is an invalid command. And then we're going to go ahead and establish a NetMiko connection. We're going to use send config set. We're going to try to print the output and we're going to disconnect. Now, when we get to this point here, we're going to error out when we run into bad command. So let's look at that behavior of this failure scenario. So right now we are not using the error pattern. We're just using the old behavior of failing. And you can see we sent our commands one after the other. We got to an invalid command and it just kept going. We see this pattern in the output from the Cisco device indicating that we sent a bad command. And then our program closes. Now let's actually look at using this error pattern to improve this behavior. So you can see I've added this error pattern argument. I've put the invalid input, which is just from this output here. I've specified this as a regular expression, so I've made it a rog string. I don't have any regular expression characters in here, but I could if I wanted to. And then we'll try to print the output and we'll disconnect. So let's look at this code when we execute it, where we're now using this error pattern feature. So now you can see that I'm getting this config valid exception. It actually does tell you here which command it failed on. So it failed on this bad command in our um, set of our list of configuration commands we're sending. Now, one other thing I want to show you here is let's look at a behavior where we actually try to recover from this. So here you can see I've imported this config valid invalid exception. Once again, I'm sending bad command. Now notice here that I have a try accept statement. So I'm using send config set. I have an error pattern specified. Now, if I run into the config invalid exception, if I run into that, then what I'm going to do is first exit config mode. Now, remember, if you run into this, send config set is not going to gracefully exit from configuration mode. So by default, send config set will try to gracefully exit from configuration mode automatically. But here we've had an error. So at this point, we're actually still sitting in configuration mode. So I'm going to call this exit config mode to exit from configuration mode and then print out some statements. And here I'm actually going to recover. So I have made a copy of a good config beforehand. It's in the boot flash base config.txt. And then I'm going to use configure replace to recover. So basically, I could do in practice for recovery is save your configuration before you send your changes, then you save it to flash or boot flash. If you detect this error, then you roll back your config to this known good state. And then, you know, we send that using send command, that recovery command. Now in a change process, you could also do something like here's my configuration and you could store it on your automation machine. Here's my configuration changes that I'm specifying in config lines. And then you could also say, well, here's my known good config that I'm somehow going to load. Or if it was like an ACL change or something, you knew a rollback process, you could basically roll back to the known good state and you could specify that config here as well. And you could roll back via send config set. Now in this case, I'm rolling back by just a save config that's in boot flash, and I'm going to use configure replace to recover. So here I'm just showing you how to use this error pattern, but in, in the exception handling using a recovery procedure. Now at the end here, I have this finally statement. So regardless of whether we get an error or not, 
we are always going to gracefully disconnect our SSH session. So we'll go ahead and run this code, go ahead and see, do we recover properly? So there you can see we had an error. Here you can see the output that our rollback was executed properly. You can see the rollback done message. So we were able to gracefully catch the exception and roll back our configuration to that state. So this is this new NetMiko error pattern feature. It's available in NetMiko 3.4.0, which is up on PyPI.